Right, let's do this. Share screens here. Oh, my money, money. All happy, all good, can see my screen. Moi, moi, moi. Uh, let me just open this here, oops. Okay, you all have the manual, I have shared it with you. Now, we've done the six personal perspectives to get your head in the game so that you can understand what is that why what is that thing that we are here that we are part of keller williams that we want to achieve that is why i called out now conversations with heidi to see you see where she's at and where she's going to that's why i picked a little bit of zandra now um, 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 because of the numbers that has been worked out there's other numbers and people who is also being calculated okay Last week, we looked at your 135, the 411. We looked at that cash flow. Now, I'm going to open that cash flow sooner now again. Um, and hear me out. And that is why I have put this in today, 31 January. If your 135, your 411, or if your goals and your numbers or your um, and your cash flow planning for your business is not done today big red sign then you need to phone me after this call today and make a time with me so that we can discuss this asap when we back from family reunion hear me out it is calculated the moment you time the numbers don't lie and because we understand the seasons and the cycles of real estate end of january is end of otherwise if you are still running around in the 80 percent busy with the wrong things not knowing your planning not knowing your numbers by the end of february you're going to start stop start stop your business please in that goal setting and remember last week we said you set your 135 then you're going to set your uh, 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 cgi then you're going to revisit your 135 then you are going to um, do your 411 now all of you looked at that spreadsheet last week Today we're going to break it down according to the MREA, the budget and the economic model. Remember, there's the four models and how to remember it, the new people that are on the call. It's called elbow, ne? the elbow. The E stands for the economic model. The L stands for the lead and generation model. The B stands for the budget model and the O stands for, stands for the organizational model. Elbow economic model lead generation model and um, budget model and the organizational model and the organizational model is we're going to break all of these down and we're going to have the mrea um and 24 topics and we're going to tie it in with 36 12 3 in in march but i want to look and touch on the rules of what is in this red book now, guys, you know, like I said to my um, first four, 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 four family reunions, two of them virtually, um, we're on our way now um, to my eight years with Keller Williams. So many topics I have presented, so many people I've seen grown in, in real estate. And I myself are learning and applying still all of this. And you'll see now, when we're there at family reunion, we, 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 we keep referring back to this. It is like the day when, and, and this is what I want to remind you from there on my manual, on participation, uh, participant preparation, okay? 
Protect your profit with a strategic budget for your business while tracking the activities that will propel your past, your daily gross commission break-even goal into profit. In the course, you will study the fundamental Keller Williams budget model and the tools of the career growth initiative. Okay. Now, I'm on page, come now, come now. I think this thing has made my page numbers disappear. Is that possible, Rhoda? Okay, I am right at the top there. Um, learn to love. And then in the middle of it, I think it's probably, um, it'll be page three. Learn to love the MREA budget model and the tools of the career growth initiative. I want to repeat this and plan your way to a big business and a big life. Oh, shit. Sorry, guys. I missed that one to change it. Can I tell you what is something that um, most of the conversations are coming out? I don't have time yet to go and sit and write down um, my budget. I have got an idea. Um, uh, because we, we resist, we don't want to put the numbers down. Because then we feel like oh, we're spending too much money. And we feel guilty for the things we're spending money on. It's tedious. And it's like a list of priorities. But once you've learned to embrace the power of your budget aligned with your goals, that's when you start loving budget. And I've had this response that it feels like you're micromanaging me again with all these budgets and things that needs to be done and and. It's not that. It is bringing you solutions for wealth creation. Um, I'm, I'm busy on, on the OP Worldwide calls, and um, uh, we have we they they busy gearing us. Gary's got a book about wealth creations that he's busy bringing out now that he's again. Um, 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 nominated as one of the influential people in the world in real estate. Um, how um, wealth creation is one of the, the 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 fifth models. Expansion and wealth creation is the fifth model that Gary Keller is now bringing in, and they're busy teaching us a little bit about it. There's going to be a book, Big Uha, at Family Reunion in America now in February about it. Johan is going. We can't wait for him to bring it back to us. Because, Kai Kiso, you will see there on page three. And, and, and this is what I just want to say to you, is that to create that rhythm and routine, that security, that opportunity for wealth creation, that extra money. I always make a joke and I say, mm, just as I think that extra five, then something else needs that five all the time. But financial health and well-being, nay. When, 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 when your money is not sorted and your money is not sorted and there's not money in the bank account and, and it inhibits opportunity and growth, guys. Because your kopiki vai about all sorts of stuff. It reduces your effectiveness because of that ans. Fun and I can't do. Ne? Your time. Unneeded stress. And by spending 
that stress because of money that you easily start landing up in the 80 part of the 80 20 principle and then it's like this little wheel that spins and we're not getting out of it but once the budget is done and you keep into the plan and you betal for kaiser wat om toekom and you bury your eie geld a bikkie and 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 because once you've got a proper budget and you are in control of it because you've got a plan and a goal and you're a smart person becomes a little bit more worry free and stress free and when opportunity arises you can immediately hoy in life ne? you stick to your budget and you work to your financial well-being and your needs and your tick lists can allow you to do more because there's money that can make life happen on the 25th but at least you can be selfish about those two three days that you can just go oh zanga let me go and sit in the kruger have my little drinky what what where would say Keller Williams? Careers worth having, lives worth living, businesses worth owning. Isn't it beautiful? And then that one day, make your money work for you and you shouldn't work for money. Prepares you for challenging times and what we call shift. When the shit eats the fan and it's shift time and it's this, this, nee? that you can just have a different mindset at it and be okay. Want hoor we? we are all smart about budgets and some of you are today listening to me and probably going, oh, God, I'm so brilliant at budget, what, what. Then let's talk about your wealth management plan, please. And this is where I just want to stop you for a second. Your life is on average, and, and you've heard me say this before, and I'm going to say this again because I want you to think about it, and I am, I'm going to repeat this always because it brings me that sort of, for me personally, it brings me that reality check. You know, I'm just like all of you. Get distracted. Then I land on the phone, and then I wara wara like a V8 bucky. Ne? And then I look at time, and I think, Lekker rollo. Tata jou nou gevang. Nee? Or, I'm so busy answering the emails and the plannings and the dit and capturing this so that I can get on with the phone calls. And then I look at time and things are just running and then, va, there you go. And your life is 840 months. Not, not like, like you're going to live for 840 and then you die. This is just to give you an idea of concept and statistic. 240 of them you are at school. That's now when they say you get a degree. You have now 23, 24, what, what. You have to learn. Moet nou bykie begin a bright wees en trou. Jy wat papa is, moet nou begin vrou soek. Skuld begin betaal, studie skuld, wat wat. 240 of those. That is when your money should work for you and you shouldn't work for money. Now listen to the smart people out there. They say the modern um, a retiree age is 55, is 60. That is now when your money should work for you, you shouldn't work for money. Okay? In the middle, there's only 480 months. For you to have a career, build a business, have your children, get them through varsity, love your grandchildren, please drive the fastest car, own six homes. You need to kind of now sort of go and have a look at life and then go and look at your months. 
see where you are at, what your expectation is, what you need to do today. Today, 31 January. If it's not today, it's too late. You're going to make it up in February, then Valentine. Then you'll be with your heart and your heart. You understand? If you are smart about your money, And, and a lot of you are probably going, oh, Rala, you have no idea, you the school fees, this, 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 this. This person helps me with that planning, but that debt is what I need to pay. And a and. little bit of debt paying, a little bit of life, you can structure it um, 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 accordingly. Is Yella okay? It is not okay. <laughs> Right. Oh. Um, okay, so just give me six seconds here. Yeah. I just want to close this door here yeah, for the lawn mower skis. Sorry guys, so I'm I'm at the the flat here in in Lone Hill. So if I was home, I would have gone to Moses and said, "Oh, stop the lawnmower." But now the complex people need to cut the gardens, and it's extremely noisy, and it feels like I'm screaming at the screen. <laughs> right. Begin with the end in mind. Simple. That spreadsheet. I did share last week. Did you fill it in? Did you build your budget? Did you look in the CGI calculator what you need to earn? Did you revisit your expenses? What are your current bank charges? Don't you have too many little stupid savings accounts that are maybe taking a five or an eight rand or etc.? Have you looked at the detail of what you are spending groceries on? Would a different brand rather not going to be more cost effective? Okay. This is what I want to say to you is, um, where's my manual? Now, now this is where you're going to laugh. Um, um, Karin uh, 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 Miller and I had the conversation. Um, stupid little things like we all have the this game loyal card and the you account standard bank and uh, this. And I am extremely guilty with these things, like Sean with the you know, with the discovery and the vitality. We've got these things. We are paying these things. We are swiping our cards. But Raula is all that fun. Oh man, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> you know, they're probably just giving you a what, what a, a rent point here and the whatever. They're forever carrying the card and the swiping and the club memberships and, and, and. Well, well, well. December, Sean and I sat on the beach and now we're thinking and we're talking and we're planning and we want. And I said to Sean now, you know, I was actually just sort out here, he clicks card in here, uh, discovery vitality thing in here. I guess I did not slap her down here. For us, 
cognitively, Sean and I, because we are doing these things just to make sure it updates and synchronizes the amount of money we can still get back and cash backs. I don't know how brilliant you are all in that today, but go and have a look a little bit at, at that. And by just creating the habit to use that garage, to use to buy that stuff there, we can put money back into our own bank accounts. And I'm stupid there. I'm the one. Okay. Now they on page four. The CGI, I just want to remind you, shows you as well what is your profit goal, your taxes, what your commission, the average prices, and your 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 salary, your buyer, and your conversion ratio. You are all okay with your CGI calculator. So, a budget is a high level overview of where your money goes. It highlights the area where you should focus to get the highest return. And it holds your money accountable to earn your results. That's what I keep saying is, guys, that hourly rate that we talk about. Once you know your number and it fits in with your budget, you become obsessive when you learn, not obsessive, but you, your self-worth when you're realizing, man, I am spending two hours in this person's company and this person, our consumer is dust. And I'm not that I judge people, but this is exactly what we all do. Man, let's be honest around here. And if I look at this person, I'm going, uh, I'm worth 1,834 rand an hour, VAT included. And this one is going south. Let me think about this. Uh, not. Because if I don't do the right things by 5 o'clock, when I cash up my magnum bean, guess what? No money. is the elbow right the budget is one of the essential of the four mrea models and it's tailor made to your real estate business where is a sole agent for a mega agent team now i've told you before that if you are a single agent just keller williams agent they talk about um, make notes, please. Let me just grab this in the MREA. Rana Vosha first time. Um, budget model. There, budget model, uh, page 153. The three key areas of the budget model. Okay. Now, your budget model, they talk about cost investment. Now, this is what brings me back to that Lightstone report of last week, where we looked at the suburb report, etc. If <coughs> you had a million rand in your fund, when you go, Hola, please, can I open a Remax franchise here in Arthabia's good day? I'm going to say to you, Laka Gema, your million rand, thank you. Here's your balloon ride. Now you need to go and fill in the paperwork. I can't fill in the paperwork for you. I'm a franchisor. I know what the paperwork are and the probables. But you need to know it because you're the one that's going to have the business. You need to drive it. Otherwise, I might as well just do it myself. Yeah. A single agent should have 30% expenses, 70% profit why 
because we plan and prepare you so that you can grow to have an admin. We plan and prepare you to put some money away so that you can grow your wealth the day your money should work for you and you shouldn't work for money. When you are a team, a Louis, a uh, 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 Manda, ne? Um, um, best properties met die, met die, met die tracker, ne? Um, uh, 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 M&M Realtors. M&M Realtors, the budget, en, ek doe my sê die properties, en dan moet eindelijk ook so werk, by the way. Um, ek dink nou, jylle, ek dink nou die name van teams, ne? Waar, your expenses, your costs of sales, 30%. Your fixed expenses, MM Realtors, Marnus' salaris, Tallis' salaris, die maandelikse foie by Keller Williams, die replacement borde, die show house sitter, die advertentie, <coughs> die telefoon, die dit, moet ingaan. So dat jylle net profit, moet kom to 40%. So that it can set you up, maar nu praat net gepraat van, in die six personals in last week, van sustainability. En dit is maar nu hier vandag. En dit is die power van, ek wil net jou sê die four MRI models. The economic model shows you how much money you're going to make. The lead generation model shows you how you're going to make it. By having so many leads and so many contacts and convert so many over a certain period of time, time over task, kabupa patela ta di cheleta fela ta, me, budget. You know how it's how to spend it. The organizational model is leverage. Who will help you to grow this mega business. Is jylle nog a kai? Anybody want to ask me questions? <coughs> Silence of the lands? Ons het my net baie oor na te denk, Rolo. Sê weer, Manda, ek love jou stem, ek hoor wat Ek sê, ons het net baie oor na te dink. Ons koppe weg oor tyd. Mooi. Ons, ons allemaal is geskok. Ok, mooi, mooi. Dankie, dis wat ek wil hoor. Guys, and this is what I love about these sessions, is that, you know as well as what I do, this is not to beat around the bush. This is really, um, and I always say, this is open heart surgery. You are my clients. I have to bring you this value. I have to remind you and give you the summary of how it works to run a MREI mug and being in Keller Williams. Careful. This is what's happening with me with keeping OP, building a team, doing this and recruiting and getting divan and family reunion. The, the, the IT, uh, um, it, it, it happens when we run in the IT and you're realizing, when now? Ne? Okay. There's the economic model beautifully done for you. It's on page six. It's simple. It's simple. What is the money that comes in? What is your cost of sale? What is your operating expenses? And what is then your profit at the end of the day? And Louis Manda, I'm not um, I'm picking on you only. I'm I'm sort of um, I'm picking my line as well. Maar nu wees nog hier op die kool dat ek net seker maak dat ek nie altyd op die selwe mense pik en dan sê hulle vir my slelik nie. Maar jylle is allemaal mooi groot. Ek wil net hier vir jylle die belangrikheid daarvan verduidelik. Kijk. 
we uh, and that's what I keep saying is me Louis and Manda that are, uh, are now starting out a team they're obviously gonna reach a ceiling somewhere where they're gonna go oh when well, now nah, this is not working it was this Marnu has reached those ceilings so many times with the wrong recruits you know, that is costing money Madame did 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 Marnu can tell us so many stories at the end of the day Marnu Stelly this is very important in MM Realtors planning. Because why? Hoor my hart sê. Want a duisend daal van nou af moet MM Realtors die salarisse betaal. Because Stelly also wants to have a life worth living, career worth having, en wil meer tyd saam met haar man spandeer. Maar nu is een bezigheid, moet nou sustainability, want hij moet ook sy gesin en sy leven groei. Nee? Nou, klaar weer hier. The budget model wer vir my mooi. Ok. En, en, en jy my aan, you didn't start this business and this plan because you arrived with a million uh, and you think you're going to get a million back. It's like you can't arrive with a rand and only expect to maybe get two rand back on your rand's value. You put a rand because you want to get at least a 10 rand out of the bastard. Nee? Uh-uh. A page 153 in my MREA, and then it carries on, on to page 154, page 155. You must write down these page numbers, please, beautiful people, because you um, on my screen, it's a little bit too small, and I don't know who might, um, we'll see now on the, um, We'll see now on the, 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 the manual, but in your, it is very nicely done in the MREA. When it comes to your budget model, you will want to concentrate on three areas in particular. First, you would want to adopt lead with revenue as your financial motto. Next, you will need to get into the habit of playing the mental game of red light, green light. That lead with revenue is very, very important. That, 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 that three things there, please take a screenshot there, because that is the favorite one. Whenever we play MREI quiz, that one always comes up. What is the MREI budget model consist of? Lead with revenue, red light, green light, and stick to the budget. As Tony Geld is, for nieuwe for sale signs nie, dan koop jy nie nieuwe for sale signs, totdat daar geld is nie. Jy leen om nie noodwendig op krediet nie, asseblief nie. Rallo, I'll say work harder to get it. <laughs> I'll say, you see, this is what the open heart surgery training is happening here. And when I say lead with revenue, the key to budgeting and spending is to subscribe to one critical discipline, lead with revenue, not expenses. The basic idea is try to spend only money that your business has generated. Or to put it simply, make money before you spend it. Now, this is where I want to just make this example. When I say lead with revenue, these agents that are putting these buyers in the car and the up, down, up, down, viewing, schlepping, viewing, and then they go, Rala, I've had 32 viewings on this property and I'm not getting an offer. And then I hear, page 154 of the red book, lead with revenue. Hello, you've spent 4,000 rand, you haven't made anything on all the petrol going up and down. The simple thing would have been found the bond originator to get the person pre-qualified and go, Askies, Rolo, you can't view this property today. Babota, your chile testament, Rolo. Blah, blah, blah. Play. Red light, green light. Do I really need... 
is this going to really have an effect in my business? Should I? You know, it's like that 13541 that we discussed. Walk around a little bit and think about it and write it down. Me? Play red light, green light. That one I need to do all the time because, you know, Rala lack of fun, Vicky Moikwiki keys in the new keys. And um, I also have that I'm not bipolar and I don't have a split personality, but I do get away with my real name being Roland. Roland is this person that I don't know, I don't see him all the time, but he taps me and he goes, Roland, I don't know you would have held eight genie. And then the Keller Williams Rolo goes red light, green light. And then I goes, oh, it's so lovely. I have to have it. Then then that stick to the budget. And then Roland goes, yeah. And then Rolo goes, oh, I'll just move the, the spreadsheet around, but I have to have these more good. Ne? Does that happen to you as well? We're on the hour, by the hour. Anybody wants to share? I'm with you, Rolo. I also like the moi goed. <laughs> Anybody else that do have those first world problems, please share. I think we all have got that problem, Rolo. It's not just you. <laughs> we are all just not too honest to say it that um, we 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 do have that some kind. That that's what I love so. Please, guys, Sean and I do make um, fun on the odd occasion of some of the sayings in Keller Williams. Remember, we talk um, um, that conscious, um, unconscious, conscious to conscious, etc. Then I will park off and then I've got this guilt thing and then I'll say to Sean, I'm now on that unconscious, consciously, on my way to a level. <laughs> Lala, I think that's why the budget is so tough for us to do because then it's on paper. It's not just in your mind and it's only yeah. in your mind. Now it's on paper. So, you know, it's visible. Um, I'm, I'm going to share my screen now differently. I just want to run through these slides first and then we're going to go back to those spreadsheets, right? Now, the MREA budget model is your cost of sales and your operating expenses. Okay. Now, if you look on page 156, 157 in the um, um, MREA, and this is where I want to hold on for a second, where I want to say, Marnu um, um, mentioned in, in one of the calls that he wants consistency. Okay. This is where I want to say is there on the top of page 157 in the MREA, we talk about that natural rhythm, which is going to create that consistency. So when we know exactly how much we are spending on the different things, we're going to create that rhythm and routine. So your cost of sales to understand what we are referring to is what does it cost you to be able to make the sale, to be able to bring in the hundred, how much did it cost you? It's made up of commission paid to the office, royalties, commission shared with a member, any referral fee. That is all costs of sale. So if we refer to cost of sale, there it is. Where is it here in our manual um, cost of sales? I'm on page eight. Then we have secondly operating costs. Okay, those are fixed expenses. Those are things we have to pay, right? The boards, the salaries, the rent, the car insurance, the border, the printing equipment, etc. Those things has to happen every month, otherwise we ain't going to be a pivot in the business. Are you away? Are you okay with that? We all understand that. Now, look there, very important. Taxes are not 
included in operating expenses. Please, like VAT and tax, it's never going to be yours. And you will also see in the MREA to remind you is they say when you're now going to grow from um, now into a team and a business, you're going to have a business account, Rolo Realty, then you're going to have a tax and a VAT account. So that you always put the tax and VAT money in the separate account and it's there. It's not yours, it's got nothing to do with it, it is there. It's you can't even include it, borrow it. Nux, nux. It must have its own account. We teach also, if you've ever attended the FSO, the Franchise Systems Orientation Training, you will also learn there that um, the MCAs always have a trust account, business account, and then a tax and VAT account. Um, it is nicely put out on page 157 in the MREA. The expense data, but we're getting to that. And it did to mark. Now, guys, use a pros profit and loss statement or an income statement. Track your income, your operating expenses, your profit, okay? Um, I will not go quite far, gaan ons na die trend. Sorry guys, somewhere, my slide is a bit in my car, geral. Okay. Right. Now I almost want to jump in here when I say profit and loss statement. How much money did you get in for the month and how much did you spend? That spreadsheet about the budget shows you exactly at the top your cash and hand. There is so many examples that you can download. They are available in the agent toolkit. It's it's it, that cash up five o'clock every day. How many appointments? How many listings? How many conversions? How many contacts? How many is the foundation of your business? Now, when you're going to look at on page 157 and you look there, how, how, much, how much you're spending on rent, how much you are spending on lead generation, and when we talk about lead generation, how much is it costing you to create 200 leads to be able to have X amount of sales, okay? What accounting system and software are you using in your business there i'm asking it are you using sage pastel are you using zero are you using the normal um, um templates on uh, 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 um, uh, uh, excel we have had that discussion. You can for now, under your banking profile, just open an account called Rolo Realty and get in the habit in paying yourself, let either pay into Rolo Realty, it's just an account name man, under your profile, and then let, get the payments happen from there. Just so that you can start separating Manda the director and, uh, 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 and then Manda Bota properties argumentatively. Does that make sense? Please set it up like that, guys, so that you can really keep your money accountable in your business. There's some questions about the lead generation. Why should I buy that new shiny thing? How much can I spend on farming? What can I spend on touch campaigns and marketing? The three is leverage, leads, listings. 
guys you don't have to spend any money right now actually on your business by just capturing your contacts add them in a campaign or might just make uh, get in contact with them it, it, it'll naturally just do it for you and that's what i love about the power of killer williams what are you spending money on today what other ways are there for you to penetrate your area to get into that 10 or 20 percent market share that you want remember my story in the e2b e2p the tiny that can really make the ass look look sexy and she's got a foiled business card and everything and when you ask her how many sales have you done last year mm, uh, 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 uh. but it's got a great land driver because the husband owns a platinum mine on the other side of rustenburg We, we, when you do that budget and that spreadsheet of mine, did you plan and think ahead like you're going to get the puppy sometime to start helping you? When will you be ready? At, at what point in that cash flow in 2023 will you be ready to get in an assistant? Have you put in that budget and planning like how much you're going to be able to afford that assistant? You know, um, the buyer agent, the person that is going to, you know, help with the viewings, do the, this, because that sort of gets us into the organizational model, organizational model to give you a full idea, page 197. Page 157. Uh, one, I, I will need to say, because I'm paging on a little bit, um, page 193 gives us um, the budget model of the millionaire real estate agent. There it breaks the percentages down what you should be spending. Now, where it shows a dollar sign, you change it into a rand sign. And then literally two pages further, it starts showing you the organogram of the organizational model of the millionaire real estate agent. Page 197. Because remember, it's first you, the boss. Then you get to admins. Then to buyer agents. And then a listing assistant. Then you are a level five um, um, business owner. Okay. I, I hope that sheet, because like I said, that sheet is really giving you an overview, a starting point to make it easy for you. But I want you to keep these things in mind. And I'm going to repeat myself. Do not give me a comma, not, not. It is 13 cents or 26 cents. Right, cost of sale examples, just want to run through here. So your gross commission earned is, say, 90000 excluding that. You have not yet cap. So it's the 90000 minus the royalties, your market center cap. Now, that cost of sale, that commission due to the company and mm, its royalties, that is what we, we quantify, cost of sales. So that you can understand where that cost of sales component is coming from. Is your 30% towards your cap and your royalty is what we see as cost of sales. They have put in another example for you. The gross commission earned is 90,000 excluding VAT. Remember the VAT and the tax and the good. You've capped and the client came as a referral at 20%. So cost of sales, 90. Your referral is minus the 18. The cost of sale is the 18,000 rand you paid to Aida, Eiendome, and Grimbeek Park, and Eneman Wees. I don't even think it exists. I just created it. There's another reason. 
going no we saw this wish <laughs> Gelukkig is jullie nog dan wakker, nou voel ik je alleen nie. <coughs> Guys, dit is example 3. Your gross commission earned at closing 90. You've capped and you are paying a buyer agent or a person 40%. 90 minus the buyers, 36. That's 36 cost of sale. So when we talk about cost of sales, 30% fixed expenses, the rest must be net profit. Do you understand that way we get up? Whatever comes away is shared, gone, not part of yours. Not the tax, ne? Jelle weer dit. That's cost of sales. Why is it important to track your cost of sales? Who wants to try me on that one? Why do you think it's important? I'm going to try my best here, Rolo. Give it to me. I think um, it makes you think of the saying, it takes money to make money. So how much did you actually pay to make your own money? Me? <laughs> well done. It's exactly that. To know what it's costing each time you have a transaction. There are the expenses you incur only when a sale closes and registers. That is the money you have spent to be able to get to that moment to earn is what that cost of sale is. If it didn't register and it didn't go through the deeds office, the council and the bank, who is always the last person to get paid on the toll slip? The tip. Is most the eiendoms agent. Is most the tip on the till slip. Because most, most agents don't know what it's costing them to be in business with their teams, with me. Because the MREA shows what your numbers must be. Guys, it's very important to understand. How much money am I spending on petrol? How much am I spending on that? But if you are in control of it, then you are not going to land into a shortfall and nor are you going to land in a start, stop, start, stop effect. It is 31 January. I myself are having the odd little angst and fall about a couple of things needs, that needs to happen. Operating expenses. Now listen to me. It's very nicely done there, the percentages. But if you are renting a little office space somewhere, now, 30% of because you are working from home, okay, you can then have an area like your study, etc. Let's say that's X amount. If you had to rent that from the family house home, it will be an X amount. Please be in the habit to put your rent and your bond amount in, in your um, forecast, it is still a reality in running a real estate business. Your PPRA, your body corporates where you are registering now for to, to, to sell. You are paying insurance and third-party insurance. Otherwise, listen, if you drive into a client during a viewing and you don't have third-party or whatever insurance, and done? And done? I've got full pivot, but I can't help you. You better have it, please. The boards, the flags, the gazebos, marketing expenses. You're spending money on attending trainings to get your logbooks, your NQF4 qualifications. Ne? Petrol and your car repayments. All of these things, please, and break it down into the most detail. Um, 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 uh, 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 bank costs. Interest on credit cards and over, uh, overdraft. We forget to add that. 
there's just a reminder of what the percentages should be really like if you look on your total. You should only be spending of your total money X percentage on salaries. Now, salaries and how to, you know, and lead generation expense is always the most in the process. So, um, and that also reminds us on, um, you will see on page 154, uh, 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 it's that, you know, if you do the calculation, when I say salaries in Keller Williams, they talk about that salary Heidi draws from domicili properties on the 25th of the month to pay for her lifestyle and her nails and her hair and and. The moment you start swiping the business card for having the hair and the nails done, it means you are like somebody that's got a dog shop and you're living out of the till. And we all know that that stuff doesn't go down. There's so many examples, and I'm going to skip through these things, of, you know, how much are you spending advertising? How much are you spending on your internet, your Wi-Fi? When you go out with clients and you drink a coffee key or a wine key or a tea key, ne? you know what happens to a lot of agents? They sit forever drinking coffee, but they're not converting the coffee drinking into money back into their bank account. And then at the end of the month, when they draw the line on the spreadsheet and come on after, luck, like 3,000 rand by mag and beans, spandeer, man, niks om al voor te wees nie. Subscriptions, dues. Please, guys, go and have a look again at what you are spending on apps and things on your phones. Scary. So all of these, I just want to go back to the manual. Is all in the manual the um, exactly the slides that I've gone through, the calculations of the different examples, page twelve. Then the operating expenses is on page 13. There is the percentages. So once you've done your spreadsheet and you see how much you've paid on HOA fees and PPRA, and it is X amount and it's exceeding it, new computers you've spent, um, your car payment, there's still some professional fees that are included. Remember, each um, person's business and demographic is different, okay? Then there is the profit and loss. That's why it's so small on my screen. But it is all available on page 15. That is an example of a profit and loss statement. You can have different codes or numbers for it. And I would really like to encourage you to please use the templates of an agent toolkit or download a simple profit and loss example from Excel. Start coding it and start doing it for you so that you can understand what is happening in your business. These sage pastel things, um, I think you get a five rand account or something at FNB and then they give you an online accounting thing. Be learning based, be proactive, have a professionalism and a look around your invoicing. Even though it is only six invoices that Heather sends to you, up, down, up, down. But that is what a business should so that you can know at the end of the month. Any questions up to there? Uh, <coughs> monthly tracking. Um, I'm on page 20. Like you are going to come back to your CGI and your uh, 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 135 or 411. One of those things is you have to track, and that's why I'm coming back to Zandra again, where you almost have to track and be selfish about that. When is that capping time? When is that cash 
a position at the end of the month going to change for me? Where is my break even point? And that's where it says, track your trends, download your monthly agent trend report, enter your results in. Now, this is where I just want to close this screen for a second. Sorry, yellow bonnet, it go here, it Yes, please, your honor. Oh, man. He suck now. Shall I not have guy? Can you all see my screen there? Okay. We talk about the language of real estate, the Lua report. Okay. This is conversations, you know, like your five o'clock cash up where you use your 10 fours, etc. This is the agent, the language of real estate is what the lawyer stand for. Well, how many units did you register the month? What was your sales volume? How many listings did you take? How many did you sell? What was the contracts? What was the volume? What was it last month? What is it that you're doing this month? Then it will show you your production. I'm showing you the spreadsheet options that are in your agent toolkit in the agent CGI folder. They are there. Kaki so. And it will show you then year on year. What did I do last year? What am I doing this year? Because then it, it shows you what you need to do and improve on. Watch this. Other. Now these are the spreadsheet versions that are available. I'm going to show you now it is available actually on Edge. Now this is a way more, but the registered units for the month of um, um oh, i must just update the sheet to 2022 so if you had in january so many and then so many in february there it shows you your registered sales it then automatically you just fill in the green then it's going to start showing you month on month what your production is if there's a minus it means your business and 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 and, and, and your production is down there is the registered sales volume. There is the listings taken. It breaks it down. Guys, I'm not going to go into detail into the trend report template. It is available there for you. You, you um, can go and download it and fill it in. You want to know how many did you sell? Because if there's a minus all the time, it means something. You want to see if... That's why I show those uh, reports on our monthly meeting to see how much, what is our total sales volume, how many contacts, how many conversions. Because that should then tie into your business here. That 
Cristal that does 16 listings, but we have done um, 101 listings for the month. Cristal is an ex-correlation contributor to our trend report. And now you're going to say, oh, this is micromanagement and so many admin I need to fill in. It's not. It's tools to help you to track whether you are on track with your 135, your 411, your CGI, and your profit goal by keeping your production accountable in relation to your budget. Does that make sense? Can you all see my edge there? Hello? Yes, yes, we can. Awesome, awesome, thank you. Right. You will keep hearing me saying this. The more information you put into the system, the more information it's going to give you back. Now that you've set up your budget, you know what you need to do, your production. Kijk hier so hoe ou lik is hierdie. Vaas jy nou, Rolla? If you feed, remember my agent profile because I uh, 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 will not now show numbers. Okay. But there it is. It already shows you what is the total transactions. There it shows you what your production is. You can filter it down to whatever. Look, we don't really do rentals. It, and then you can export this um, 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 and, 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 and add it to your fault. Your, 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 there's your top-down agent. You can change this, but you really need to feed the system. Check his so. It gives you a whole transaction breakdown of everything you are busy with what your dollars are here is all the filters that you can check your transactions on keep looking at what am i doing Um, there, it can show you all the detail of, of what's happening in the market center. And this is not hidden agendas. There you can track all the amounts for every agent, where they are at, what's happening, where the listing locations are, where the productions are, where the monies are. This is not secret, um, 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 secrets in, in, in um, Keller Williams. So everybody can see that. But these are tools that we don't use in, in um, 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 you as agents are not using it enough to be able to know where you are at and measuring your business see where your total values are using and tracking your numbers with the lure report the lure report you can draw straight from here there's endless reporting options if you want to use the um, spreadsheet ones they are the spreadsheet ones again agent toolkit agent cgi there's the lure report 
there is the trend report there is the all of these is, is available on edge as well anybody want to ask me any questions on this The faces that I look at all goes, Oh, all hierdie goed wat ek moet invul, is jy van jou kop af. Sê dit net een keer en doen dit, en kry net jou eende in een rij, so dat jy kan weet hoeveel eiers al gelei moet word, waar al nie wel eindkies moet wees. Rolo, um, vir my wat nooit hierdie goed... Um gedoen het nie, en toe kom maar nou nou met al die spreadsheets en hoe groei ons in goed, dis baie motiverend om, om daarna te kyk, en dit, 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 dit inspire jou um, om, om te sien wat trek en wat, um, jy weet hoe loop jou bezigheid, so dis rechtig vir my um, baie motiverende tool, baie Dankie Stelie, dankie dat jy dit sê, en dis wat ek so lief is vir Kelly Williams, nee. en ek raak nou nie ander mense af, maar die balloons of die whatever jy hulle wil noem, hulle sê, waar is ons Andrei, sien jy is ons Launio, die 60 huise in Launio, jy moet soveel verkoop, en dan doen jy miljoen vir ons. Na 20 jaar gee hulle vir jou een gouwe oorloosie en een gouwe handdruk, en dan sê hulle, baie, baie, dankie. Maar, hulle smokkel nie met jou kop, laat hy te veel van die suburb moet weet nie, because why? Because they sort of, you are employed to them, and they want to control you, because they want to control their part of the money. We bring you the statistical value, and the returnable, so that you can understand, why you put it away, on a Saturday and a Sunday, so that you can grow, so that you can understand, that there's no ceiling in earning opportunities in Keller Williams. Donkey Stally. That is what the mindset in Keller Williams is so different. Oh, Craig, when that flies for die, ah, oh, anybody else that wants to talk to me? Rolo? Yeah, my God. Say we can really say we're not agents anymore. We are business owners because we've got all of this. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Um, Heidi, um, you can't, I understand, you can't just tip a, 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 a chip away at it and get with, with everything. But just be time aware of everything and what you need to do to get on with it. Okay, so it's 31 January, the year runs away. There's already a ripple effect in our country where the this is making this slower and the that is making that slower. We cannot sit and blame shift that. We have to obviously then double up on the right activities to make up for that time we are losing. Maar as jy verby februari is en jy wil er nog, dan moet jy kom laat ons praat. Uh, 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 Brits Gymnastiek Academie soek mense om die vloere te vast voor hulle bommelakiesies maak. <laughs> ons hou van een skoon saal, ok? <laughs> Guys, that's where I'm going to leave you at because I showed you your lure. I discussed with you what is your cost of sales. You know what is your operating expenses. Um, you know now need to lead with revenue, red light, green light, ne? and keep your money accountable. You can't put one and think one, getting one back is enough. You must put one and get a hundred back those budgets and tracking your numbers and your activities is very important. If there's anything else I can do for you, let me know. We are off to family reunion. We're going to share a lot of things with you. Marnu is going to be there. Monday's office meeting, we've moved on till Valentine the 13th. It's just too quick coming back literally that evening from family reunion and then be there it's just not practically gonna happen but i will put that message out i thank you for your time we've had an exceptional january but whatever you thought was enough in january you need to duplicate in feb i'll see you in any case online thanks guys have a super week Thank you, Rolo. Thank you, Rolo. Bye, 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 Rolo